Hey guys, so Gigabyte recently updated their BIOS and with that they changed a bit of the user interface. If you guys haven't already checked it out, Gigabyte has an amazing overclocking guide available on their site. The link will be provided below. Once you enter the BIOS, you will be brought to this screen where you can see all the basic information. From here you can press F2 to en enter the advanced mode where we can begin overclocking. Once you enter the advanced mode, you will be brought to the favorites tab where you have all the necessary options for overclocking the system. And we start by disabling VDT, which is virtualization. And then we move on to disabling the internal graphics. Now, once both of those are done, we can start by overclocking the CPU. And then we disable the enhanced multi-core performance. Then we set the CPU clock ratio, which in my case is set to 4.9 gigahertz. Then we go on to disable Intel speed shift technology, ring to core offset, EIST, energy efficient turbo, voltage optimization. All of these settings are shown on the overclocking guide by Gigabyte as well. Then we move on to enabling the XMP profile and then we set the CPU vCore voltage. Now under advanced voltage settings and CPU VRM settings we can find the CPU internal AC DC load line and the load line calibration. Once all of this is done you can simply press F10 to save and exit and check for system stability. And if it isn't stable, if you're getting a blue screen of death, you can simply adjust the CPU core ratio or the voltage until the system is perfectly stable. Also, in my testing, I found out that the CPU upgrade settings uh, have a lot of issues and advanced profile and gaming profile actually reduce the system performance. So I recommend setting it to default. 